Hey guys, it's Marshy from Bomber's Bar. Uh, this video is just to help new T3 hunters that have, you know, recently been fucked from CCP. So I've done a lot of testing over the past few hours, days, you know, trying to find a solution. And we've kind of got a few workarounds, they're not the greatest workarounds, but they do the job for now, so <clears throat> I'll show you exactly what we've come up with. Just load a few fits here. Right, so the first fit I'm going to show you is the XLSB Tengu. The new, this is going to be the new poverty Tengu. Uh, it looks like it costs around, I don't know. There's 223 mil here, but I don't think that's right. Let's just see phrase of it. Hang on. It costs about 350 mil. So if Brazil tells me. So as you can see from Pypha, it's got dual XLSBs, T2 adaptive, T2 EM Wadfield, shitty micro rock drive, warp scram, inertia stabilizers, low friction nozzle joints to help with alignment. Got a bit of buffer in the core defense field extender and the ancillary current router that's needed to power the two XLSBs. Uh, you will load them with you load them with four hundreds, nine four hundreds each. And you're probably gonna want I'd say eighteen four hundreds in your cargo. Uh, as for implants or boosters you can run ascendances, mid grade ascendances with the WS615. If you want more align time you can use the EM I believe it is. Yeah, EM705. Brings your align time down to 5.58 seconds which isn't too bad. Uh, shield boosters, this is quite important. Uh, you don't really want to be using standard improved or strong because they will have a chance of reducing your maximum shield hit points which then could get you killed from an alpha so what we've been using is these uh, anti Mac and furio boosters and you can also use this this one here I can't even say it that one. you can see it on Pypha there So let's fit this up on CC. Let's see what we get. I think I've got one somewhere. Yeah, there it is. So T T Jewel X L S B. Uh, I pulled out my Sino skills so I could fit a mid hugger up. Uh, I'll just say this is the nid I'm running. So four Imperial Navy DDAs, three fire support units, it doesn't matter about the other crap because it doesn't really help us in this uh, test. 3,164 DPS. I'll load it into Python for you so you can see the alpha.
Spiders, so we use all loads of some Templars. Three squads of Templars. Um, activate the missile attack. We'll get the Alpha. So the Alpha is 23, 268. DPS is 23, 16 on here. Not sure why it's lower than higher in game. Don't know how it calculates it. But yeah, let's uh, let's get to testing. So what I'm going to do? Make sure you have the blue pill on here. This is essentially what you're going to have to do now. For, this is for newbie hunters. So the carrier's parked next door. Yeah, CCP have really screwed us on this. It's really hard to find a T2 Fit Tengu that new bros can use for hunting. That's interdiction nullified. But we've done a lot of testing and I've just come up with this fit that might work. So the carrier's in the ice belt, so you know, uh, look, I found the carrier, you know, warp into it. You want to pre heat everything in the tank. Take your pill. This is a little bit hard for me to do because I'm multi boxing, but you get the general idea. Land on the carrier, you know, he's going to be out ratting, his, his train is going to be miles away, he locks you up. F1, F3, no more boosters. You know, you sign him up. Second volley coming in. Yeah, he hold. Hopefully the Falcons are in by now. There you go. And now, hopefully your Falcons have saved you. Pretty much how it works. You haven't got a lot. But it's the cheapest and most effective tanky you can use in our current situation. Slide these in there. And I'll show you I'll show you exactly how I would do this in real life. So we warp in, pretend we're, you know, going to the target system, 6 e dag. You walk to the gate, I've got my combat selected.
jump into the system. Well, there's one anomaly, you know, the line to bang out the combats. Put the combats on the anomalies. Yeah, 16 AU. I know there's nothing here because look, my range is 14 AU, there's nothing here. Scanning, got a Nidhugger already in line to this cluster. Instantly warp, the line speed does not matter. D scanning, Dragonfly is out. Nidhugger, start overheating. Take your blue pill. I've already got one. There's a Nidhugger here. Lock him up. Point him. Loss him. Turn your invals on, he's gonna start locking you up. Killing you. Here comes his alpha. Turn them things on. Leave them on. Don't try and don't try and stop over repping, it'll kill you. Here comes his second alpha. I know it's already up by now. I haven't got it activated at the moment. Falcon should be pre staged. Yeah, Falcon should be jumping through by now. Locking up the fighters, hopefully. Still got some tank in you. Still got some tank in you. Running out of boosters. Probably got one more volley left. Boom. There you go. It works, it's not ideal. But it works, you know, it's, it's all we've got. If you want a cheap dengue, that is all we have at the moment. So yeah. Thought I'd make a video on it. Kind of show you how I've been testing and finding fits. Uh, I have another more blingy fit that can tank a bit longer and I'll do another video on that shortly but for now this is uh, this is what we've got for your new brain hunters <laughs>